What's going on, everyone? Welcome, Rabbit here. You guys asked for it. Well, more like you guys demanded it. You blew up a whole bunch of comments on unrelated videos. You guys were emailing me and DMing me in Discord. How do you mine Gram? So I was like, you know what? I guess I better get this done. So here we go. And there's nothing like a Rabbit mining tutorial. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to GPU mine Gram. <laughs> So if you are unfamiliar with the coin Gram, Gram is a decentralized cryptocurrency, the distribution of which is taking place through proof of work mechanism based on the open network blockchain, Ton. Uh, proof of work was designed, yada, yada, yada. The point is this is a GPU mineable coin and it's looking pretty darn profitable and you guys want to know how to mine it. Now their website here doesn't look like the hottest thing around it has some you know guys and stuff on it here uh, in order to sell this coin you know you can go to some dexes it does have a dex here with a gramton courtesy of ston.fi but you can also just swap it in your wallet depending on the wallet you use speaking of wallets let's start with that so i will have all these links down in the description but you are going to need a wallet and for this you're going to need a ton wallet. this is built on the ton blockchain just like ethereum and all the erc based coins there Take example, MetaMask here, you do need Ethereum in order to buy and sell and send any type of coin that is built on Ethereum. That's the same thing with Gram on Ton. You are going to need Ton to use Gram. And we're also going to need a Ton wallet. Personally, myself, I'm going with my Ton wallet. You can get a web, Android, iOS, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, as well as a Chrome extension. I am using the Chrome extension. You download it load it up here do get your seed phrase set it up like a normal wallet and then this is something that you will see now originally i did not have gram in here and i didn't even know how to add it i didn't find a way to add extra coins into here it's probably simple but you know maybe i'm blind but what i did do is i took some ton here by clicking on it and i just swapped this over into gram so here you can see i'm going to take some ton I'm going to go to this and I just typed in gram because it wasn't here and then gram was here and then I just sent like 0 0.01 or something and then I swapped that over to gram and then I ended up seeing gram pop up once that was done. So once that's done here in order to get your address you do just use the same address for everything. So I'm just going to go into here and we can see here close this out bam. We can see my wallet is right here. So we're just going to copy this and this will be the address that you are going to mine to. It's the same thing for all the coins built on this wallet. They're all just like MetaMask if you're familiar with that. Now that you got a wallet, you're going to need a miner. And for this, I'm going to be utilizing LOL Miner. Now the latest version is 1.85 beta. This is in testing due to the fact that Ironfish will be forking to a new algorithm soon. So you don't need this one. It will definitely work. But you can use the latest stable official release of 1.84. Just simply click on it, download whatever version you want to use. In this case, we're going to start with Windows. Then we'll move to HiveOS later. So download your LOL miner. Now that you got your wallet, you got your miner, you're going to need a pool. And in this case, I'm going to be pushing you guys. It's not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. But this is the pool I'm using. This is ice mining. So we're going to go into the pool right here. And you can see one thing I do want to point out is the fees to mine gram is very high. Ice mining is actually one of the lowest with 30% fees. And some of the other pools up there have 50% fees. So keep that in mind when you're looking at profit calculators. A lot of them don't count those fees. So it's looking a lot more profitable than it is. But Graham has been seeing some nice pumps. And it has been the top coin for quite some time. So here's all the pool parameters that we are going to need to connect to. Now that didn't pop up earlier. I apologize. But now you can see it. I hit the refresh button and now everything picked up. So we just clicked on Graham up here. And you can see everything's up here. So Team Red Miner. This is if you want to use Team Red Miner. We are going to be using LOL Miner. So this is the command prompt we're going to need. So I'm going to copy this over right now. So we're going to, oop, it didn't copy for me. So we're going to do this again. Right click. I'm going to copy this whole line right here. Now you're going to go into LOL Miner. So hopefully you went in and you extracted LOL Miner. That's kind of Crypto 101. But if you didn't, please unzip that file now. That will bring you to these files. If it's not unzipped, you will not be able to see and edit these. So now we're going to scroll down here and you can see they already have a bad file named mine underscore gram so i'm going to right click this 
we're going to hit edit here and then we're going to scroll down to our pool parameters that is right here so here you can see i already have it so i'm just going to delete this whole thing so it's like you were doing it yourself this will just have some brackets and kind of be blank so right beside the dash dash pool here you're going to have a space and then just paste in those pool parameters like so next you can see dash dash user here it's going to have some you know brackets whatever parentheses some weird gobbledygook this is where you're going to put your wallet address followed by your worker name so here i'm just going to bring up my wallet again just to show you guys how to do it if you're doing it yourself we're going to bring in our ton wallet right here we're going to close out our ton just copy this address right here bring up our bat file and then here you can see i'm just going to close this out completely paste that in like so and now you're going to put in a period and then name your worker whatever you want in this case i named my workstation it's got an rtx 4090 rabbit ws make sure you do have this period here and no spaces if it's something with a space like this it could mess up and that's all you got to do once you're done with that you just hit file save up here and you're good to go now the other great thing about lol miner is i love that they have a windows version of the lol miner gui so you're going to want to right click this and run this as administrator this is what i do use for my overclocking in windows on any coin i mine even if i'm not even utilizing lol miner it could be regal miner or whatever I use this for all my overclocking here you can see just like so so what you got to do is you got to make sure you have some check marks here that means they're on memory my memory is locked to 810 this doesn't require much memory if it was a memory intensive coin I'd lock that at 5001 but in this case it's very core based and that also makes it very efficient here we're locked at 810 I got a core offset of 300 and I got a locked core clock of 2400 once you hit apply ocs like so right there it will you can double check in msi afterburner you can see i am locked at 2400 and my memory is at 810 we know that everything is in place then all you got to do is double click on that mine gram right here and that should pop up to something like this now you can see we are hashing away on the rtx 4090 mining us some gram and making bank let's move on over to hive os all right so we're now in hive os you can see i got the Octa miner right here currently mining gram so the first thing you are going to want to do in your farm is go into wallets right here and you're going to have to add gram so we're going to add wallet here wait for it to do its thing and now we're just going to type in gram it is here by default you can see it's got the symbol and everything now we don't get this mixed up with grams this is gram without the s and you can see the symbol is kind of different so we are mining gram here paste your wallet address in there that's that one like so then just name it whatever you want in this case you know web browser or whatever your wallet is or something and then create that so i'm going to cancel it out because mine is all made next up we're going to go into flight sheets and we're going to create that flight sheet so now because we made our wallet gram should pop up right here again do not confuse this with grams my wallet is my ton wallet that's what I named it. We know which wallet I'm using for sure there. Now for pool, we're going to configure this in the miner. This I'm going to go video test. And now I'm just going to select my miner here, LOL. And you can see LOL miner pops up. Now we're going to set up the miner config. So here we can see gram. So right here, I do want to go wallet. I'm going to put a period here and then I'm going to go worker name like so. This is the way I like to run it. You can put your worker name here as well, but I like to keep it here. It seems to work just fine. So now we need our pool server here. I'm going to come back into ice mining. We're going to copy this right here. Take this right click. I'm going to copy it. Come back in. I'm going to paste that in like so. Now I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to put this down below. I'm going to cut that out and put it down here like so in our extra config arguments this is also where i'm going to put all my overclocking all right so here's how i set up all the overclocking down here you can see i do have ton mode six here and here is your core offset so these are the commands you're going to need to utilize overclocking in the flight sheet itself for each one of your gpus so dash dash c off this is your core offset every single one of my nvidia gpus i always use 300 offset even though other places tell you not to i do it anyway i do my own thing so here we do have this is dash dash cclk this is your core clock lock and this is locking your core depending on your gpus obviously right here dash dash mclk this is your memory clock lock so we're locking everything at 810 as you can see here and dash dash pl this is your power limit now you do not need to set a power limit when you are locking your core because it's already kind of setting that power limit and running out of whatever power it needs for this now you can 
set your power limit in case you somehow for some reason overclock doesn't apply hopefully your power limit will and it'll kind of act as a backup so you don't blow a breaker or maybe fry a gpu or something crazy happens like that but you can set your power limit if it's something you want to do we're using way under and as you can see i totally messed this one up when i set this up i have a power limit here of 1700 and 1700 so i'm actually going to update this flight sheet now because that was pretty high so it's a good thing we're doing this video because you just see me make a massive mistake but it doesn't really do anything unless i lost my overclocks now one thing to keep in mind when it comes to those overclocking is keeping the count of your gpus proper so let's kind of run through here as you can see i have 1305 1485 1470 1500 and so on it's based on your rigs like so so gpu 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 all the way down to 11 there's 12 gpus here gpu 1 is always a zero so you can see there's that's why it's not having a 12 here but you can see the a2000 is gpu zero and in this sheet that would be this guy right here the first one the 1485 this is actually for my 3080 which i have set here that's gpu number two second in line and then so on so make sure you count which gpu it all is and then you just say your overclocks based on that gpu now on these core base coins it's really easy because all you really got to tinker with is their core clock because we're locking the memory all the same we're doing all the same offsets we have slightly different power limits depending on them but again that doesn't really do anything and i have a 1700 right here now wow i really messed this up but anyway we're all good we're all good. You can see here, I'm just going to apply that to my workers. You can see how much power they're actually using. 39 watts, 119, 136. Now, this is software power. We are using probably 10 to 30 watts more, depending on the coin and stuff you're mining. Software is never 100% accurate, but the Hive OS total is usually pretty accurate if you set your power supply to the correct efficiencies. All right, enough about all the mumbo jumbo. Hopefully, that did help you get up and running in either Windows or Hive OS for gram so get out there get your rigs on make some money the bull runs coming thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one rabbit out